Hey there. When was the last time you truly soaked up the moment? Can you remember the little things, like the wind playing with your hair, people laughing around you, leaves dancing down to the ground, or birds singing in the tree? Or do you feel like life is zooming by and you're just trying to catch your breath? It has always been a struggle for me to be present in the moment. Maybe it's a career habit. I'm a project manager by day, so you can say I plan things for a living. Plan A, plan B, plan for potential risks. So my mind is constantly thinking and worrying about the future, and naturally, I'm also that way in my personal life, constantly fixated on the future. From the small day-to-day decisions such as what should I have for dinner tonight, to the big existential questions like where do I see myself in three years. In this fast-paced world, we tend to forget the art of just enjoying life. It's about slowing down, being in the moment, and soaking up these simple joys, finding happiness in the everyday stuff that's surrounding us. It is easier said than done for me. When I'm in the here and now, I feels like I've got this constant text symphony playing in the background. There is never-ending pings from my colleagues on Teams and Slack, and of course the mindless scrolling through social media. Sometimes I wonders how I even get through the day. It becomes the new norm, and I'm practically on autopilot. Then we have the true enemies of being present. Dwelling on the past and worrying about the unknown future. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about self-reflections on past events to improve my self-awareness and learn from my mistakes. But oftentimes, I get caught up in the emotional side of things, the feelings, the shame, the regrets that I can't change, or things I regret saying in the heat of the moment. And now it's a little too late. On the other hand, we have the future. I feel like a master storyteller sometimes, always spinning tales of what ifs and maybes. Like, have you ever had this? I daydream about winning the lottery so I don't have to work anymore. I even think about how I would spend the money, but in reality, I don't even buy lottery tickets often. Living in the moment isn't just a state of mind; it's a bit of an art, a practice, a way of being. And I want to make it a regular habit. Let me share a story with you. My boyfriend and I took a trip to Vancouver over Thanksgiving break, and we were on a mission: to be present, soak up the moments, and make memories that last. We didn't want to be that couple that hunched over the phones, googling where to go, what to eat, what to check out on the fly, because we're determined to keep our focus on the present. So we did our research, planned the trip together. Made reservation to restaurant we want to try out, and we bought ticket online so we can dodge the lines. Sound contradicting, right? Wouldn't planning for a future trip take me away from the present? I would argue that proper planning actually put your minds at ease of the uncertainties. We were mindful and present during the planning process. We learned a lot about each other's travel styles. We chose the Airbnb together after weighing the pros and cons, so we learned how to make decisions together as a couple. And here's the beauty: we traded on the spot stress for a seamless flow of moments. We didn't worry about where to go or what to do. It was just about being there in the heart of Vancouver, creating memories without the distraction of tomorrow. <laughs> Living in the moment is more than just a phrase. It's a lifestyle that we're crafting, one intentional step at a time. Another beauty of living in the moment is that it teaches us that life is not just about reaching the end goals. 
It's also about the journey, the laughs along the way, the unexpected pit stops, and those moments where you just have to pause and go, "Wow, this is pretty darn cool." When we were kids, living in the moment was like second nature. We were pros at it. No past to dwell on, no future to worry about. Life was just as straightforward as it gets. Simple. But then, fast forward to the present. Life gets complicated, right? And we misplay our sense of adventure somewhere along the way. If I can leave you with one thing here today, when you find yourself drowning in distractions. Or the anxiety starts creeping in. Just pause. Take a deep breath. Reconnect with your reality through every sense that you got. What you're touching, you're smelling, seeing, tasting, and hearing. Being present is a skill that we can master, and like any skill worth having, it takes a bit of practice to get a hang of it. It will be challenging at first because we're used to distraction and slowly accepting that as the new norm. But once our awareness expands, being present will become more natural. Share with me in the comments your tips on being present or just any thoughts you have on this topic. Love to hear from you.